A big practice mistake that leads to frustration rather than progress is to expect immediate and perfect results when we correct something. For example, I used to expect that when I corrected a mistake that in one or two practice sessions, it would be eliminated, it would be gone forever. And then when it returned in another practice session, I would get really frustrated and wonder why I wasn't getting better because of all the work I did in the previous session. The irony is that I was getting better, but I didn't realize it. And I think that what happens often as students is that we expect way faster results than what's possible physically and cognitively. And this leads to the same frustration I felt early on, which interestingly enough, I think makes us want to do more repetitions than we need to in order to fix the problem. But we don't really fix anything when we, when we uh, correct an error. What we do is try to improve it. If we think about fixing an error and eliminating it, that would be like cramming for a test and expecting to learn something. And it's the same thing in music. If we try to fix something immediately, we may get lucky when we play it next time and be successful, but in the long run, it's gonna be inconsistent and your playing is not gonna hold. So the best strategy is to think about improvements, small improvements over time, not immediate fixes. One thing that helps me a lot is to think of practicing like playing darts. So if you throw a dart at trying to get the bullseye and you miss, the next thing that you wanna do is try to aim for the bullseye again. And every time you re-aim, you're gonna get closer and closer to the bullseye. Eventually you will start hitting more often and eventually you'll hit it close to 90%, maybe almost 100% of the time. You wanna have a, an improvement mindset when you practice and know that progress is a result of small and consistent successes over time. If you want more tips like this, take a look at my website. I have a free PDF on 10 critical mistakes to avoid when you practice. There's a download button right there. You can download that and that will help you get started. All right, thank you so much.